workers digging a well outside the ancient Chinese capital of Xi'an in 1974 stumbled across a significant historical relic, a life-size clay soldier ready for battle. Little did they realize they had stumbled across one of the most significant archaeological discoveries in human history, the Terracotta Warriors. The UNESCO World Heritage Site is easily one of China's greatest national treasures and deserves to be on everyone's bucket list. So in that case, let me show you everything you need to know about visiting this wonder of the world. First, let's answer everyone's first question. Why are they there? Well, the terracotta warriors aren't the only significant thing buried in the area. It's also the final resting place of Emperor Qi Shi Huang, the man who brought together all the kingdoms of China as one and became the first emperor of a unified imperial China. He was also a pioneer in many ways. Not only did he standardize currency and the Chinese language, but he also combined separate sections of a defensive wall into what would later become known as the Great Wall. So he was a pretty big deal. His funeral site, or necropolis, was the size of an entire city, and it took over 700,000 people to finish. The Emperor's tomb was placed directly in the center, protected and encircled by an army of clay warriors, each representing a different member of the Imperial Guard. The collective term terracotta warriors is referenced to a number of pits within the 5 km wide necropolis. They're mainly split into two distinct areas, the Museum of Qin Terracotta Warriors and the Qin Shi Huang Mausoleum. In total, there are roughly 9,000 soldiers, 130 chariots and even 520 horses, which are made out of baked clay, or terracotta, which are standing in underground corridors. Each figure has completely unique features, including hairstyles, facial expressions, and even clothing. Some people believe they actually represented real-life warriors. In total, there are three pits named in the order that they were discovered. Pit 1 is the largest and by far the most impressive. Relics are still being found to this day, and there's no better proof of that than in the mausoleum of Qi Xin Huang himself. Since its discovery in 2008, it still hasn't been excavated. The park's curator wanted to protect the tomb as a mark of respect, and hopes that future technology will allow us to look inside without disturbing the sleeping stores within. That's despite the possibility of greater treasures being hidden inside. Ancient texts describe palaces filled with precious stones and rivers of mercury flowing through mountains of bronze. There could be some truth to it as modern day tests have actually shown high levels of mercury inside the tomb, so it could be true. So when should you go? Do not, I repeat, do not ever go during national holidays. This is not a recommendation. This is a promise of a miserable time. National holidays are when the entire nation of China goes traveling. Thus, every attraction in the country becomes absolutely swarmed with people. And it's even worse at the Terracotta Warriors. The narrow walkways that encircle the pits become clogged with bodies and it's near impossible to move. You literally have to fight and claw your way past fragile grandmas, bratty little shit kids, just to get a better view. For fuck's sake. Even then you can't fully immerse yourself in the moment because you're just getting pushed and barged at every point. Located in the Shaanxi province in northwestern China, Xi'an is considered a major transportation hub. The city can be easily accessed by its many train stations and international airport. You can get there by both normal and high-speed trains, which leave from places such as Beijing, Shanghai and Shenzhen. Xi'an is also easily accessible by long-distance buses that leave from everywhere in the country. To get to the warriors themselves, you can take one of the many public buses that take regular routes towards there every day. Your best option is taking tourist bus line 5 or bus 306. 
as they run past a number of other attractions along the way. China is one of those countries that, regardless of the politics, must be included on everyone's travel list. There are just too many incredible sights to leave out. And of the many amazing things there are to see in the country, the Terracotta Warriors must be considered one of the best.